Today we are going to be ordering numbers from least to greatest. What is ordering numbers? Ordering numbers means putting the numbers in order from least to greatest. Least being the smallest number and greatest being the biggest number. Other words for least include smaller, less, tiny, pequeño, chiquito. Other words for greatest include bigger, larger, or grande. Here in the picture, we have the eggs in order. They are in order from the smallest all the way to the biggest. How do we order numbers from least to greatest? Good question. You need to use place value to be able to put your numbers in order. Always look at the tens place first. Here we have the numbers 24, 18, and 32. In 24, the 2 is in the tens place. On 18, the 1 is in the tens place. And on 32, the 3 is in the tens place. Now that you have looked at your tens place, you need to decide which one of these three numbers has the smallest tens place. In this case, the number 18 has the smallest tens place. So we will write the number 18 first. Then you will look at 24 and 32. Out of 24 and 32, 24 has the smallest tens place. So then we will write 24, leaving us with 32 having the biggest tens place. So 32 will be the last number that we write because out of the three, 32 is the biggest number. Remember, the number with the smallest tens place will go first, and the number with the largest tens place will go last. But what happens when we have the same tens place? Don't worry, there's a solution for that too. If the numbers have the same tens place, look at the ones place. For example, here we have 74, 79, and 76. We can all clearly see that all these numbers have a 7 in the tens place. So now we will look at the ones place. 74 has the 4 in the ones place. 79 has the 9 in the ones place. And 76 has the 6 in the ones place. Now that we have determined our ones place, we need to look at which one of these three numbers has the smallest ones place. Looking at our numbers, we can see that 74 has the smallest ones place. So we will write 74 first. Looking at the two numbers that we have left, 79 and 76, we can see that 76 now has the smallest ones place. So we will write 76 next, leaving 79 with the biggest ones place. So 79 will be the last number that we write because it has the nine in the ones place, making it the biggest number out of 74, 76, and 79. Remember that when you have the same tens place, Look at your ones place. The number with the smallest ones place will go first, and the number with the biggest ones place will go last. So let's practice. We have the numbers 89, 43, and 81. Remember the first strategy that I taught you. Underline your tens place. Look at your tens place first. On the number 89, Eight is in the tens place. On the number 43, four is in the tens place. And on the number 81, eight is in the tens place. Now that we have our tens place marked, we can clearly see that 43 is the one 
with the smallest tens place. So let's go ahead and write 43 first down. But now we have a little problem. We can see that 89 and 81 both have an 8 in the tens place. So now you can use the other strategy that I showed you and make sure you mark your ones place. 89 has a 9 in the ones place, and 81 has a 1 in the ones place. So out of 89 and 81, which one is the one with the smallest ones place? I hope you said 81 because 81 is the one with the smallest ones place. So now we will proceed and write 81 on our list, leaving 89 as the biggest number, which will be the last number that we write. So now the number of these orders will be 43, 81, and 89. Good job, everyone. Now it's time for you to practice a little bit on your own with the number that I have given you on your work. Good luck.